cooperation between France and South Africa goes back many years. And during the Second World War, the French authority, the Abbe of Ibray, was actually at the University of the Vedrotisrand for some years. And he was studying Southern African rock art at the time. And then having this exhibition come now revives mem memories of, of those days when the Abbe himself uh, was in, in South Africa. I think a great deal can come from comparing the rock art in South Africa and the rock art in places like Glasgow, where um, there are similarities and then there are also dissimilarities. For example, the Lascaux rock art is deep underground and it was made in darkness and viewed in darkness, whereas in Southern Africa they, they made the paintings in open rock shelters where the sun and the wind uh, could come in. So there's a difference uh, between them. Well, I think having the Southern African rock art, which is older than Lascaux, Lascaux is 17,000 and we've got rock art clearly dated to 27,000 years ago and then other forms of art even more than that. So having these two right next to each other is a new idea and uh, it's very valuable. The exhibition is wonderful, it's very complex and it's got a lot in it and uh, people visiting it mustn't think they can go around in five minutes.